days it just sort of evolved. Somebody cooked it up. I think that it's something that either escaped from a genetic engineering laboratory or something that was manufactured on purpose in a genetic engineering laboratory to somebody's specifications. I also believe that all the warfare of the future will be conducted with these biological agents. Because now the gene splicing is a thing that can be done, <clears throat> it is feasible to consider the preparation of certain diseases which will kill only specific races, nationalities, or uh, people with certain interests. Because you can tailor the disease to attack certain things in certain categories, certain categories, certain categories, certain categories. somebody sitting in an office someplace that's working on it, then that's the practical way to do it. You can scream about nuclear war and you have people running around with signs and stuff like that, but I don't believe there will ever be a nuclear war because it's just impractical from a business sense. Meanwhile, the companies that are building delivery systems are making plenty of money, millions of dollars, because the money goes into small arms, delivery systems, medium-sized arms. Their commerce is still going on and that's why they're aligned. That's what they love to do. 